Hey what's up you guys, I'm Sid and today I'll be teaching you how to make an unique visitor counter using PHP and MySQL. Let's get into the video but before that, Happy Diwali and Halloween to you guys and your family. Now let's have a look at the video and figure out what we have to do to make a counter. And number one thing that we're gonna be doing is to connect to MySQL, then we'll create a table by writing query and executing it. Then we'll be writing PHP that will make a counter and finally we'll be testing our code. And that's it. You can skip to any of these by clicking on the annotation on the screen. Now let's begin with step 1 that is connecting to my SQL. And as we are writing PHP we have to add the PHP opening tag before continuing. After that we'll be connecting to my SQL database using my SQL connect function of PHP and will store the connection in con variable. Now heading to step 2 where we'll be creating our MySQL table and we're naming table as unique underscore visitors. A table will have three columns number one date set to date data type unique primary key and not null. Second column is IP set to text data type which will be storing IPs and finally third column views set to INT data type and default value is 1. This is a table structure. Now let's convert it into query for execution. Now all that we need to do is, is to execute this query to create table before heading to next step. And you can simply create it by placing this query inside my SQL query function, just like this. And make sure you have created table successfully before heading to next step. If you didn't, the code won't work properly. Moving to third step, where we'll be writing a counter. And make sure to continue code after my SQL connect function that we wrote in step 1. And the first thing that we're going to be doing here is we'll be getting date using PHP state function in 4Y, MM, and DD format. And we'll store date in date variable. Next, we'll be getting user IP using server super global and remote address as key and we'll store the IP in user IP variable. Next, we'll be writing a SQL query for fetching a card of current date from my SQL database table. That is unique visitor table that we created in step 2. And query is as follows. Select store from unique visitors where date equals to dollar date. Make sure you, you properly got all values and backticks around table and column name just like this and we'll store the query in query variable after that we'll use my SQL query function to execute this query and we'll store the result in result variable after that we'll need to add an F block if block will execute when record for current date does not exist and else block will execute when record for the current date exists. Condition for if block is when num rows variable of result object that is results variable here is equal to zero. As you can see right here it looks like this. Next Within this if block, we'll write a query for inserting new record into the table and we'll write query under insert query variable and query is as follows. Insert into unique underscore visitors bracket start date comma IP bracket close values bracket start dollar date comma dollar user IP. Make sure you properly quote values and 
add back ticks around column and table name. Then we'll place this query inside MySQL query function for further execution. Then we'll move towards the else block and the first thing that we'll be doing in else block is we'll be fetching result from a result variable using fetch a sock function and we'll store result in row variable. Then we'll need to add an if block to execute query to update views and IP address in the table. And condition for if block is when current user IP address does not exist in the list of IPs in a table for the current date. And for searching a current IP address in list of IP addresses, we are using pragmatch function and row variable with IP as key to get IP addresses that were stored in the table. As you can see right here, it's pretty simple. Pragmatch function with user IP along with an insensitive case identifier and row IP address as the main string that we'll search into. And that's it. That's a condition that we'll need to meet. But as it's negative condition, we'll need to add an exclamation mark right after starting off if bracket. Now moving into our freshly created if block in which we'll add a new variable named new IP which will be equal to row variable with IP as key space user IP. This variable will contain all previous IP addresses and new IP address and will update it inside the table. Do you wonder why we have added space between previous IP addresses and new IP address? Just because it will act like right separator and will separate IP addresses from one another. You can use any character as long as it is not used in IP addresses. That's why we use space. After setting value for a new IP variable, we'll move towards writing our update query and we'll store this query in update variable. This query will update record in my SQLI table. That is unique visitors table here. Now let's write a query and query is as follows. Update unique underscore visitors set IP equals to dollar IP comma view equals to view plus one and where date equals to dollar date. Make sure you probably call all values and back to ground column names because if you don't, it won't work. After that, we'll place this query inside my SQL query function for further execution. And we'll close the PHP with PHP and tag. And that's it. We've completed it. Now, we'll be testing. And this is a PHP my admin table. It's pretty simple, clear, and nothing else. But now let's go to the page and reload it. And if we reload, we're gonna get a new record inside it, as you can see, with one view. Now, if we reload it again, nothing will change in my SQL table because IP address is the same. And that's it. We are done. And here's one tip for you. If you combine this system with cookies, it can give you more accurate results. And if you want to troll in that, leave a comment below. We'll surely do it for you. And thanks for watching till end. Happy Halloween to you all guys and happy Diwali, don't forget it. You can tell me how you will be celebrating it in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe me for more as I do make new videos every week. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and if you face any problem, leave them in the comments below. I'm here for you. And final thing, like our Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter and Google Plus and also don't forget to watch our other videos by clicking on the i button above or the annotations that are right in front of you. Bye!